In this video, we're going to go over the panels on the right side of the preview window, and these give you more tools you can use while culling through your images using Photo Mechanic. At the top is the Info panel, which displays EXIF data for the current photo, which is most often assigned in the camera when you take the photo. The data displayed can be completely customized by going to Edit, Settings, Set Info Text. From this window, you can use Photo Mechanics variables to add, delete, or rearrange the order of the data you want to display, and then save different versions of snapshots, which can then be recalled by clicking the Snapshot button above the panel. You can also increase or decrease the height of this panel and change the size of the font here. Next is the panel for the Crop Tool. You can select this button to turn on the Crop Tool or use the C key, which will toggle this tool on and off. The Settings button brings up options you can choose from, and this is another tool where you can save different crop settings as snapshots. Keep in mind that Photo Mechanic does not actually apply the crop here. You can preview the crop by clicking this button or by pressing the P key, and then you will see the crop outline over the thumbnail back in the contact sheet view. If you save a copy of the image, you can apply the crop, but most often you will see the crop applied if you send the photo to an editing program. The Zoom tool is the next panel, and you can turn on the Zoom tool by clicking this box or by using the Z key to toggle it on and off. The slider shows the percentage of the zoom you will see, with one being 100%. Keep in mind that when you turn on the zoom tool, the slider will always be set to the last setting you used. The lock scrolling option is great for when you are in two-up mode on similar images and want to scroll both images at the same time. Below the zoom tool is a histogram you can use to help analyze the exposure of that image, and at the very bottom of this right column is the Highlights and Shadows tool. Here you can check your image for blown highlights or lost shadow detail. And just like in the contact sheet, there's another Tasks panel at the bottom of this column, so you can keep track of any actions that might still be in progress. But this panel is only on the bottom of this column on Mac computers. On Windows, it is actually right under the Info panel, as seen here. So those are the tools and features in the right column of the Preview window. For more information on the top toolbar options, watch the Preview Window Tour Part 1 video, or you can consult our knowledge base at camerabits.com, or get in touch with our support team by phone or email.